in 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello and welcome to English Like a Native with me, your host, Anna English. Please do let me know that you can hear me and that you can see me and everything is good. I'm doing a live stream here on YouTube and on Facebook. This is a British English pronunciation class. However, whether you're learning British English or American English, these pronunciation classes are helpful for everybody if you are learning the English language. Today we're focusing on the S sound, the S sound particularly, of course, in British English, but this sound is pretty much the same whether you're learning American English or British English. So I hope that you can see me clearly and that everything is good. If you want to see the notes while I am talking, then you want to be on the YouTube page because as always, I provide the notes over here on YouTube. So we have these notes here, so we're gonna work through these and I'm also here and available for my patrons. So patrons, if you want to jump into the Skype room, I'm here to answer any of your pronunciation questions. So focus session, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to jump over to your comments and questions. So let's get right into it. The S sound. Right. This sound is generally pronounced by putting the tip of the tongue uh, on the roof of the mouth, but you should not touch the back of the teeth. So some people do do this and it makes the S quite hissy and whistly. Some people even stick their tongue between their teeth when doing an S. This is bad. You should put the tongue tip on the roof of the mouth, but far enough away from the teeth to get a clean sound. So try that for me. So the important thing is not to touch the teeth. Now, some people do make this sound by using the middle of the tongue up on the roof of the mouth and the tip of the tongue down at the bottom teeth. But I think this is inefficient and it doesn't work for all sounds. So I would suggest you practice with the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, not touching the top teeth. So. Let's practice with our practice sentences, which today, you can see this if you're on YouTube, you'll be able to see this and Facebook, the link to the YouTube channel is in the description of this video, I hope. Um, okay, so the first word we're going to try is the word so. So, a word that we use often. So, what would you like to do today? We often use so at the beginning of a sentence to kind of set things go off. So, how are you feeling? You might even say, I feel so-so. If you feel so-so, it means that you don't feel too good and you don't feel too bad. You're just kind of average, all right. Not too good, not too bad. I feel so-so. So-so, it's quite a common term here in the UK. We also have the word see. See, I see you. I can see you on Facebook and I can see you on YouTube. I can see. See. Also, the word see like the ocean is pronounced exactly the same. I can see the sea. I can see the sea. Can you see the sea? Okay, so see and see both the same. Also, we have the letter, uh, the number six. The number six. Starting with an S, make sure that tongue is up. Six. Now six, the end of that word particularly has a K sound followed by another S sound. So six, six. So make sure you're doing that properly. Let me show you on YouTube. Six, six, six. All right, so that's the number six. Then the final word that I have as an example here is, of course, the thing that rises and gives us all life. Is this even on? Oh, it's very dark, isn't it? We need the sun to light this up. We need the sun. 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 And the word sun, as in 
ah, the big bright ball of fire, is pronounced exactly the same as a male child, your son. He is my son. He was born under the sun. The son of the sun. They're both exactly the same, but of course it's spelt with a different vowel in the middle. So son and son. Okay, let's try our first sentence containing this S sound, making sure we're keeping the tongue S tip on the roof of the mouth, not touching the teeth. Here we go. The first sentence is the name Stephen, Stephen, and this has um, a PH spelling. Sometimes it's spelt with a V, but whether it's PH or V, we pronounce it Stephen with a V. Stephen. Stephen said something strange to Sue. Stephen said something strange to Sue. Sue is a name for a lady and it's short for Susan or Suzanne or Susanna even. So Sue. Stephen said something strange to Sue. And notice how we make to more like t. To Sue. To Sue. Stephen said something strange to Sue. Notice how I'm breaking that sentence up. Stephen said something strange to Sue. You try it. Stephen said something strange to Sue. Okay, let's try the next sentence. Sometimes, now the S on the end of the word sometimes is pronounced like a Z. So make that more voiced z. Sometimes the sun, notice th, the tongue does go between the teeth. Sometimes the sun sets. And the s on the end of sets is an s sound, not a z. Sets so subtly. Subtly. Now the word subtle has um, a silent letter in it, has a silent b in it, subtle. Subtly, su oh no, that's su subtlety, I've spelled that wrong. Subtly, is that spelled right? Is that spelled right? Subtle, subtle, no, subtly. Mm, let's have a look at spell checker. S oh, it must be this, subtly, subtly. You know what my spelling's like, guys. <sighs> Dyslexic over here. Um, but subtly, if something is subtle, it means it's gentle. It's not too loud and um, direct. So if I, if I say to you subtly that you should go home, then I'm not directly saying, you should go home. I would say perhaps, um, everyone else is going home. Do you think that maybe we should go home? That's me being more subtle. Um, there's lots of other examples of being subtle, but it just means to do something gently, almost undetected. So to do something subtly, gently. Um, so the sentence, sometimes the sun sets so subtly. Sometimes the sun sets so subtly, you hardly notice it go down. All right, next sentence. Um, oh, I'll just say a quick hello to my patrons here in the patron Skype room. Hello, Anna, hello. I'm on my phone right now, so either Skype or YouTube. Ah, I see. Okay, Andreas, well, I'll see you on YouTube, I hope. And, oh, bless, Strongwit has sent yet another contribution to the channel. So, Strongwit, you might notice, has dropped a super chat here on YouTube. Super chats are ways of, is a way of contributing to the channel and the growth of the channel, but also a way to get your um, comment to stand out. So it highlights the comment and it makes it stay on my page so I can see it big and bold so I don't miss it. If I do miss your comment, it's not on purpose. I just have so many comments on both Facebook and YouTube, I can't possibly see them all. So thank you, Strongwit, that's very, very kind of you. Alrighty, so where were we up to? Let's go back to these notes. We've got 77 secretive spies sat and spied. 77. Secretive. If you are secretive, you are doing something in secret. 77. Secretive spies sat and spied. Now, 
An important thing that I'm always telling my students, pronounce the ends of words. So many people, even natives, miss off the final plosives or the final fricatives. And it's important that you do sound them, otherwise you might be misunderstood. So, in 77, um, I want to hear those V's and T's, 77, secretive, spies, sat and spied. 77, secretive spies, sat and spied. You try it. 77, secretive spies, sat and spied. Okay? So it just means that a huge number of spies that are secretive, they sit, or they were sat in the past, they sat and spied. If you spy something, to spy something is either to see it, so I spy, I see, um, but if you are spying, if you are a spy and you're spying, it means you're watching someone secretly. They don't know that you're watching them. I see you. So 77 secretive spies sat and spied. Undetected. All right. Um, next sentence is simple single singers should sing simple songs. This is a tough one because the ing sound, or rather the ng sound, has to be pronounced with the back of the tongue high and it becomes a nasal. Mm, mm. So we have simple, dark L, simple, that's the tip of the tongue, simple, sing, single, single, singers should sing simple songs. Wow. Simple single singers should sing simple songs. I think I've actually written you a tongue twister there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've, yes, that's more like a tongue twister than anything else that I've written. Um, I'm going to add that to my tongue twister list. So let's have a look at that together, guys. We have simple single singers should sing simple songs. In this context, the word single means that the singer has not got a partner. They don't have a, um, a singing partner or potentially a boyfriend or a husband or a girlfriend or a wife. So simple, single, sing, single singers should sing simple songs. Gosh. Okay, a couple of you are commenting on my jacket. Yes, this is a YouTube jacket and the reason I'm wearing this lovely thing is because I'm celebrating. Today, this channel crossed over the 50,000 subscriber milestone. I did think it was gonna happen earlier than today, but I am super, super ecstatically happy, basically. I'm very, very happy to have reached the 50,000 subscriber mark. It's happened all so quickly, and I wanna thank you, every single one of you who has contributed and subscribed to this channel to make that possible. So thank you, that's amazing. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe and press the bell notification button next to subscribe so you don't miss any future lessons. Remember, this community is all about you, and the more people who get involved, the more I will give to you. So um, if you're here and you want to learn more and you like what I'm doing, then just press subscribe and maybe even the share button because, you know, if you share, then other people might benefit. Oh, wow. Ella has just sent a two euro super chat. Thank you so much. And you said, I love that jacket on you. Thank you so much. I quite like it too. Um, yeah, I bought this from the creator store at the YouTube space in London. So thank you. All right, back to the lesson. So, the next sentence is, shake your shoulders spontaneously. Shake your shoulders spontaneously. The word spontaneous means without a thought, just without preparation, without knowledge, it just happens. Spontaneous, without any build-up, spontaneous. So, shake your shoulders spontaneously. Woo! 50,000 subscribers, woo! Shake your shoulders spontaneously. Awesome. 
Um, my patrons, how are you getting on? David, hello. Like your jacket, thank you very much. Suavec is just watching and wriggling his eyebrows, or raising his eyebrows rather. <laughs> hello. Um, how are you getting on with this sound, patrons? Are you finding it easy? Um, okay, so shake your shoulders spontaneously. Obviously these S's are more SH's, you might have noticed. Very similar to the S, sh, 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 sh. Can you see the difference? An SH should be rounded lips. Sh, an S, s, smiled. So shake your shoulders spontaneously spontaneously. Great. The next sentence and the last sentence is Stephanie saw a seesaw by the seashore. Stephanie saw a seesaw by the seashore. Now a few things to note. Stephanie. Stephanie is an English girl's name. So a lady or a girl will be called Stephanie, not a man. A man can be called Stephen and it's spelt very similarly to Stephanie. You just remove the end of the word and spell it S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Stephen, Stephen, or V-E-N, Stephen. And obviously Stephanie is S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E, -E, Stephanie. And Stephanie saw a seesaw. A seesaw is a, a piece of equipment that children play on. It's like, um, let me use this little pencil here, a plank on an arch in the middle and one child sits on one side and one child sits on the other and it goes seesaw, 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 seesaw and they just do that up and down, up and down, up and down. So that's a seesaw, a seesaw. Let's play on the seesaw, yay, seesaw. And Stephanie saw a seesaw by the seashore. So at the edge of the sea, where you would walk on the promenade or the beach, is the seashore. So it's the shore of the sea. Stephanie saw a seesaw by the seashore. That is another tongue twister, isn't it? Stephanie saw a seesaw by the seashore. You try it. Stephanie saw a seesaw by the seashore. <sighs> really, really good guys. Well done. Okay, so then I've just put my little sign off here. 60% of my viewers, and this is true, 60% of my viewers on YouTube are not subscribed. Shock horror. <gasps> Don't be one of the majority. Join the minority. So as I was saying before, if you're not a subscriber, don't join the majority. The majority of people watching are not subscribed. Be part of the minority and press the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny. It just takes a moment to click and then you're subscribed. And the beauty of subscribing is that you are then um, aware of my lessons when they come up. If you press the bell notification button, then you should get your, um, you should get an email when I go live to let you know I'm live. And um, if you're just subscribed and you don't press the bell notification button, then my channel will go into the edge of your YouTube uh, page so you can see and find me easily and sometimes my videos will be suggested to you more regularly. Um, I do go live at the moment, I'm trying to go live four to five times a week and I'm also going to be uploading pre-recorded videos as well. So that's the main part of the lesson done. If you have any pronunciation questions now is the time to ask. Um, Priority is going to YouTube, so if you've got YouTube and Facebook, you might be better coming over to YouTube because I can see those comments more easily. Um, but I will try and jump between the two. Facebook, you're on my phone, it is harder to see you from here. But I can see one here from Alec has said, how to pronounce entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. If you are an entrepreneur, you are somebody who starts up multiple businesses and you start businesses from scratch. Uh, maybe you have um, unique ideas. You could say, I am an entrepreneur because I have a number of businesses that I've started from scratch. Um, what else have we got? Um, hi, Anna, it's nice to see you live every day. Thank you very much. Anna, what is your name? My name is Anna English. That might type. Is that written backwards for you? You might be seeing that backwards, I'm not sure. But my name is Anna English Tyree. So English is my middle name, believe it or not. 
Um, Shiraz has asked, how can you pronounce the word question? Qu, like a k, qu, a Q and a W. Qu, qu, question. I, I have a question. Could I ask a question, please? Okay, um, any more, any more? Okay, yes. How do you, how do you pronounce the TH in the words healthy and northern? Hell, so with the L in healthy, I tend to cheat it because it's hard to do an L and then a TH, healthy, healthy, it's difficult. So I tend to pronounce the L by putting my tongue between my teeth early, hell, healthy, healthy. So just have your tongue out because the TH is more important, healthy, healthy. And the word northern, something that's from the north, it is northern, northern. Um, okay, uh, what else have we got? What is imitate? To imitate is to pretend to be something else or someone else. So if I imitate a, a dog, then I would be on all fours and going ruff, ruff, <laughs> ruff, ruff. I am imitating a dog. So it's to pretend to be or to behave in the same way as something else or someone else. Can you pronounce two places in London, Grosvenor Square, Grosvenor Square and Hyde Park, Hyde Park. Um, can you pronounce the word world, world. Make sure you get that dark L in there, world, world. Um, um, Mohammed has just, I, all I'm seeing from you Mohammed is with S or SH, I'm not sure what that refers to, I'm sorry, you have to give me a more complete question. Anna, not pronounce a thing, but can you please explain good at and good in? Did you write the same question on Instagram? Um, if you're good at something, it means you're skilled. I'm good at talking. I'm good at editing. So it means I'm skilled at talking, I'm skilled with editing, I'm good at football, it means I'm skilled with football. Um, to be good in something can mean all sorts of things. You could be good in a film, it means at the time when you appeared in the film, you were good. Um, you could say, I was good in school today, so I was good when I was at the place of school. Um, so normally, if you're talking about a skill that someone is generally good with, so if you're skilled with something, then you would say, good at, I am good at doing this. Um, and if you were good in a certain place, you were good at a certain time, then you'd say, I was good in, I was good in 1966. Um, I was good in school. I was, I was good in the daytime, but not so good in the nighttime. Um, so yeah, good at, good in, I hope that helps to explain that one for you. Um, how do you pronounce the word, the word earth? We live on the earth, earth, okay? Um, is entrepreneur originally an English or a French word? I think it's a French word. It sounds very French, entrepreneur. <laughs> Awful French accent, I know. Okay, um, how can I pronounce the word congratulations? Con Congratulations, congratulations. Always think about the word you, like you in the middle. Congratulations, congratulations and celebrations. I want the world to know something, something, something. It's a very old song. Um, okay, some of you had trouble having trouble with the live feed. If you're having trouble, just refresh the um the url and it should come up for you um ooh, how can you pronounce the word occurs occurs something occurs and what else were you asking for c and present or present if you have the noun it's a present oh you gave me a present thank you so much that's very kind but if you if you use the word present as a verb to give something, to present, then you say z, present, present. Um, but if you're in the room, if you're using present as a, I am present, so again a noun, you'd say I'm present, 
I'm present. Oh, it's so confusing. A present, present, I am present. So yes, both times as a noun, as a noun, present, present. But as a verb, present, present. Okay, so the difference is, the difference is the verb, isn't it? Present, un, unt, present, and verb, present, eh, present, present, present. I present a present. Oh gosh, that one fried my brain a little bit. Um, so, um, so heavens, some of you ask me to pronounce words that I've never seen before, and that was actually a really difficult one, so sorry about that. Um, how do you pronounce the word so? If you are sewing, you are stitching with a needle and a thread. You're sewing, fixing clothes. Sewing, it's spelt S-E-W, but it's actually pronounced so, just like S-O, so. Um, um, how can I pronounce the word crisps? Crisps, the little fried potato snacks. In America, I don't think it's the same. I think, I can't remember. Crisps are something else. I don't know. <laughs> in the UK, crisps are the fried snacks, which may be, I think in America, that you call chips. Chips, potato chips. But we, um, for, for us, chips are the warm wedges of potato that you cook in the oven or in a deep fryer. fryer. Um, how do you pronounce the words aisle? Like in a supermarket or a shop, you go down the row. The row is called an aisle or in, in a church even, an aisle, a row, and the word isle as in the Isle of Man or the Isle of Wight, an isle like an island, they're both the same, isle and isle. Um, okay, to be present isn't a noun, okay, <laughs> you know how I feel about, <laughs> about grammar, um, yes, grammar baffles me. So um, thank you for correcting me on that one. Um, yeah, if I mess up grammar, guys, it's because I'm a native and that's what us natives do. We don't know the grammar rules. So please don't judge me too harshly. Um, okay, any more um, pronunciations? Can you pronounce the word queue? Something that we Brits love to do. We love to line up in a queue, a queue. So you stand in line, you are queuing. Um, Q, very easy. It's a very funny word because it looks like it must be much more difficult to pronounce, but it's very simple. Q, okay. Um, Fernando says, please can you pronounce tests, 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 and asks, asks, asks. You have to do a little bit of harder work with the tongue for those ones. Um, What's the difference between either and neither? One is for the positive and one is for the negative. If I say, I don't like this, you'd say, um, me neither, or um, I don't want to go, me, me, me neither. In American English, they say neither and either. So you say me neither or me, um, um, how can I do one in the positive? So either can, in, can also mean one or the other. So either you watch me on Facebook or you watch me on YouTube. Yeah, so um, does that help? So neither you'd use with a negative to agree to something and um, either can be a choice between two things. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that one. Um, okay, I'm gonna do a few more minutes. I promise this would only be half an hour and we're now 32 minutes in. Um, if you are finding this helpful or you have found this helpful, then please show your appreciation by giving me a thumb on YouTube or some love on Facebook. Some of you already are. That's very, very kind. And um, if you think of anyone who could find this helpful, then please do click that share button. Um, Fernando, calm is pronounced with a silent L. Yes? Yes. Calm has a silent L. We just have a long vowel. R. Calm. Calm. Um, Jario uh, is asking about Scottish accents. Um, I'm not going to do a Scottish accent right now because it's not really, it's not my accent and I would just embarrass myself. I mean, I can do a bad Scottish accent. Och, I the new, a Scottish accent. Um, but I would prefer to leave it to the Scots 
to provide a good Scottish accent and in fact I'm in the middle of editing a video for the Scottish accent just for you guys so keep your eyes peeled on the YouTube page over the next few weeks that will be um, occurring so do look out for that. Can you pronounce the word, the town, the city rather in Scotland, Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh. Um, the difference between England and Britain, um, oh, quite complicated but in, in a nutshell England is the one country, just England, without Scotland, Wales, um, yes, without Scotland or Wales, um, but Britain, the Isle of Britain, is Scotland, England and Wales all together, that's Britain. I hope that helps. Um, okay, one of my patrons is asking, do you pronounce the double T in Harry Potter? So we just say it once, we say Potter, Potter, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Um, oh, with a London accent, would you silence the T? If you were doing a Cockney, Harry Potter, Har Harry, and you might even drop the H as well, Harry Potter. All right, I went to see Harry Potter, but um, you'd have to have a very strong accent to do that. And do you pronounce num, um, how do you pronounce num and dumb? If um, both of them have a silent B at the end, if you can't feel something, it's numb. So if you're if you can't feel your fingers, maybe if you've been sitting on your, if you've been lying funny on your arm and you've lost the circulation to your hand, you might have a numb hand, numb. And to be dumb, um, there's a few meanings for this, but dumb can mean you can't speak. Uh, for whatever reason, you might not have the power of speech. You're dumb. Um, but some people also use dumb as an unpleasant word for people who are not very clever. They're dumb. Um, lots of children tend to tend to throw that word around. Uh, you're dumb. Are you dumb or something? It's not a nice word. Um, so I wouldn't use it in that context to uh, throw at anybody. Um, how do you pronounce anti-disestablishmentarianism? There you go. I think you're just trying to test me. Um, uh, Liam Gallagher's accent is very difficult. Yes, Liam Gallagher speaks with a Manchester accent and I do have a video about the Manchester accent um, if you are interested. Anna, will you marry me? Um, I don't know you. <laughs> I can't marry someone I don't know. That's not the way we do things. Um, could you pronounce a little bottle of water with a glottal T? A little bottle of water. A little bottle of water. There you go. But Standard British English, you should pronounce the T's a little bottle of water is what you want. Um, okay, let me have a look what my patrons are asking. When will the next Bella and Beans video come? I can't wait for it. <laughs> Lots of questions. Ella, the next Bella and Beans video, Bella and Beans, if you don't know, is my YouTube channel for children, Bella and Beans TV, for very young children. The next video will be out in a couple of weeks. I have a lot more editing to do and more filming to do, but once we get into a rhythm, then there'll be weekly videos. But at the moment, I just need to catch up a little bit. Okay, a few more questions and then I am going to go. Could you pronounce, um, oh, do we have, do we have to silence every letter before ER in words such as singer and climber? Um, no, no, not at all. Um, you just have to learn the words where the letters are silent. Uh, the sing, singer, the G is silent because it's an NG, sing. And so we wouldn't release that G anyway. But there are some cases where we do release it, like in the word finger, finger. You do release it there. And, um, oh, and I can't think of one off the top of my head, but there are other examples. So don't think that you miss off the letter before ER, in words that end ER. Just learn the examples where they do miss off the letter, like singer and what was the other one? I can't remember what else you said. Um, climber, climber. That's because climb has a silent B. That's why that letter is silent. We climb, climb mountains, climb the rocks, climb the ladder. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around, does it make a sound? Hmm, I think it does. I think it does because sound continues infinitely on forever into space, whether someone hears it or not. Um, Amal, I'm a proud subscriber. Congrats on 50,000, Anna. Maybe you should coin a name for your students. What would you like to be called? If you are a member of this community, what would you be? 
I used to call my my members Elaners, but that doesn't really feel right. Elaners, English like a native as. What would you be? Can anyone think of a good name for my community members? I know Lucy's followers are Lucifers. Very clever, Lucy. Really, really clever. I like it. But what can my followers be called? Anyone come up with any clever names? And I might just use it. Um, please, would you pronounce here we go and hear you? Here we go and hear you. Hmm. Would you pronounce Antarctica um, and Arctica? Antarctica and Arctica. Arctica. Um, um, it's better for beginners like me to see you recorded see your recorded videos by um, with the captions. All the videos will have captions. Eventually, the live videos do too. They're usually automatic. And if you would like to add translations and subtitles to these videos to any of my videos, then you can do on the video. Just click more and select translate and you can translate it into your language or add English subtitles if you are seriously um, advanced with your English and that would be really helpful. Um, okay, so some some thoughts coming through for what I can call my followers. They could be um, Anna's, Anna, Anna's, Anna's, oh, that doesn't quite feel right, but thank you for suggesting. Anna United, maybe, like Manchester United. Um, Anna, Anna Disciples. <laughs> Um, let's let's keep it rolling. Let's keep let's keep the ideas coming. I'm not sold yet. I'm not sold on any of these. Okay, how do you pronounce criminal criminalization criminalization criminalization? Um, Anna's state. Mm, I don't know. I think it should be like. Oh, oh I like. I mean, I like this play on words here. My patron David has said, anonymous, anonymous. But it, I don't think it really works to call people my anonymous, and it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, I could call you like my my anacondas, my anna, my anna annabellas, mm, my annabellas. My abella is beautiful in Spain. I could call you my annabellas, my annabellas. But it just doesn't seem to quite fit the mold of what you guys are, which are my awesome language students. Um, so it has to be a name for you guys. What do I call you guys? Um, Anna lovers. <laughs> Some people might take that in the wrong way. Um, why is it, do you know what time it is and not do you know what time is it? Um, I don't know. And my, what I say to people who ask why is don't worry about why, just know what's right and what's wrong because sometimes it doesn't make sense. So what time is it? What time is it rather than what time it is? Um, hey Anna, how can we improve our English by using movies? Well, you watch movies in the English language and um, ideally initially with subtitles, I guess, and then start to move away from subtitles and eventually just like children learn, then you will start to pick things up. Um, it feels hard at first, it's hard to concentrate, but but we'll get there. Oh, Emma said, your bananas, like bananas. There's a whole bunch of you, my bananas. I like that. I like that. That's definitely on the short list. Um, oh, Ella has also come up with future natives. Sorry, this lesson has turned into a let's just find a way to, <laughs> to bring my whole community together. Thank you for your help. Um, future natives, my future natives. I like that. Um, animators, animators, minions. <laughs> I like minions. Hello, minions. Although minions makes it seem like you are lower than me, um, and I wouldn't like that because you're not lower than me. We're all on the same level. Um, I'm just imparting some of my knowledge. That's all, and helping you. Okay. Um, so I think bananas is winning so far. Bananas, because it has the Anna thing. It's a bunch of you. Um, fun and everyone loves a banana, right? Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to wrap up. <laughs> I think we've had a lot of fun. I do want to go and do some um, recording as well. And I do also want to let you know, <clears throat> I will not be doing a live lesson tomorrow because I'm doing uh, Summer in the City, which is an event for YouTube. 
um, all the YouTubers get together and hang out and talk to each other and um, the public can come as well so anyone can buy tickets and come along and meet YouTubers so that's where I will be tomorrow in the summer in the city so if any of you guys are going to summer in the city then if you see me around do come over and say hello I don't bite so don't be scared to come and say hi um, and so I won't be live unfortunately although I may do a little live feed if you want to see what summer in the city is like um, but we'll see. It'll be from my mobile, so I don't know how good that will be. It's good on Facebook, I don't know for YouTube, but we'll see. Um, and then on Saturday, I'm doing the British Championship Gymnastic Competition. It's my first competition as a gymnast. I'm competing, um, representing my club, Tolworth Gymnastics Club, and so I'm very nervous so please keep your fingers tightly crossed for me that I do well because I would love I'd love to come home with a medal but more than anything I just hope that I don't break anything because when you're nervous and you're throwing yourself around doing somersaults and backflips then sometimes it can go wrong so keep your fingers crossed that I don't hurt myself and that I come home with a medal <sighs> that'll be lovely and I will tell you on Monday exactly how I got on. In fact, I may do a live stream on on Sunday. I may do. I may do a live stream on Sunday to do a um, 50,000 subscriber Q&A session. I promised I would do a Q&A when I hit 50,000 subscribers. So I might do that on Sunday. But let's see how Saturday goes first. Please keep your fingers crossed for me and wish me all the luck in the world because I'm going to need it. Um, okay, so I've had a couple more suggestions through. I do like bananas, um, but I've also had Anna Angels. Anna Angels. Oh, uh, I do like it, but I think the bananas has kind of taken it for me. Um, Anna Bananas. Anna's Bananas. Anna is Bananas. That could be taken in so many different ways. Okay, so I'm going to say lots of love to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me. A huge thank you to my patrons. I will love you and leave you. Goodbye, patrons. And um, if you want to be a patron, patrons get lots of rewards. And patrons are um, people who are able to support this community in a financial way, whether it's a dollar a month or more. And depending on how much they can contribute to the channel, then they are rewarded um, with notes from the channel, with early access to all videos, and um, the ability to message me and always get a reply. Sometimes you can have Skype calls with me, you get to join the Skype group. Some people get to join my WhatsApp group. So if you're interested and you're able to and you want to help this community to grow, then do check out the Patreon campaign. The link is in the description of this video. Make sure you join me on Facebook and Instagram where I'm releasing regular videos and um, posts and I'll keep you updated about my live lessons. Have an amazing weekend, guys. Take care. Lots of love from London. I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube first. Goodbye, YouTube. Lots of love. Make sure you're subscribed. <laughs>